Welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use virtual laboratories in the learning and of course teaching of science subjects. So you can open your browser, you can see, uh, me I'm using Google Chrome, and you can type in the URL of a given virtual lab that you want to use. So for mine, I want to use Fed Colorado. So be typing in the URL so and paste the URL in my uh, browser, then click enter. Then after that, uh, the URL will open a virtual lab which looks like this. And here, as you can see, we have various apparatus. And now we just ch chosen the simplest one, just a circuit construction kit. So as you can see from uh, the display, we have a, a wire on the uh, left side. We have a wire and we use that. You have a battery, you have a light bulb, you have a resistor, you have a switch, and there's a drop down arrow. If you click that, you'll see more displays. You have a fuse, and even the battery has changed. You have a bulb again, a resistor changes the, share, uh, the, the appearance. Down like that, you have an eraser, you have a coin, clip, dollar bill, all that. So all the sorts, so you can click down, you have a pencil, or those as you can see. And if you want to go up, you can just click and go up to the first menu. And now here, as you can see on the other right hand, we have uh, uh, the... Uh, let me get my screen recording on the other side. Let's get it up here. So we have a, 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 a on, on show current. You can see we have a, you can show current using conventional flow, just using the conventional directional uh, flow, or you can use electrons. Let's uh, click electrons because I can actually use. I'm going to use them in our video. Then uh, on the other side, you can see we have a labels or values you can uh, decide to use either labels or, no, or use uh, values and as well you have the ammeter on this side and the voltmeter on this side those are the simple circuit construction apparatus that are there in our lab so if we click advanced you can see in advanced we'll be using varying or even resistivity of the conducting material so our conducting material is a wire here so as you can see, wire resistivity is also catered for under that. And of course, the internal resistance of the cell, uh, the cell that will be used also has its, its own internal resistance. So if you uh, look at advanced, we have the internal resistance of the battery resistance. Then of course, we can uh, uh, click add real bulbs. So whichever that you can choose. So let's go direct to uh, constructing a, a, a simple circuit so you can get your learners through this so to construct a simple circuit we need uh, uh, the following materials we need the ammeter so you can click the ammeter and bring it to the working bench we need a voltmeter also to the working bench we also need uh, wires of course and we also need uh, a switch to the working uh, bench we need uh, of course a light or bulb to the working bench we need a battery or uh, you can have a, a number of them either in series or in par arrangement but let's use one for this then um, of course we need wires to connect all this so first uh, thing to understand is that uh, which appliance or even which instrument is connected in series or which one is connected in pad so all that we know is that um, to measure pd or potential difference the voltmeter is connected in parallel uh, to other components in a circuit and so that should be uh, considered in constructing this kit so i want to connect this across the cell or across other uh, appliances or other instruments in the circuit then connect the ammeter in series with other components of the circuit so as you can see in that arrangement of mine it actually puts the 
ammeter in series with other components and now what's remaining is only attaching or even finishing the circuit by connecting using wires now you can draw a wire from there and attach and of course extend the wire to uh, the length that you want it to be then you also take another attach and now you can turn it up and also take another wire to connect this one to the light then also another wire to connect the light to the ammeter like that another wire to connect uh, the switch to the ammeter uh, like that then extend this just for the of course shape of course it has no implication because using wires really cannot attain that shape then another wire to connect uh, the switch to the cell like that and now you can push this up uh, so that we have a still line like that and now from there lastly connect the voltmeter across other components and immediately you connect the voltmeter it records it records uh, some value on its display or screen uh, then from there now you can switch on your circuit the very simple circuit and uh, you'll see it working so just click on the switch just click once on the switch to close and open it click on the switch to close and open uh, it and you can see if you click the switch open the bulb goes off and if the switch is closed the bulb lights another component of this that i uh, wish that we look at is this so another component of this that i wish that we look at is uh, the advanced section the advanced section we have wire resistivity so if wire resistivity is increased if wire resistivity is increased that means the resistance of the wire is increasing so less current will be allowed to pass through the wire so the brightness of the bulb reduces like that so you can use this to actually show that uh, the higher the resistance of course the less the current that passes through and that would also change the values on the meters now look at the meters as we are, uh, increase the resistivity the meters are changing as you can see current is dropping current is dropping as well as voltage uh, dropping like that current is dropping as well as voltage dropping and of course the brightness of the bulb is diminishing or uh, reducing reducing to a given um, level so another icon we can see there is on battery resistance as internal resistance of the cell as well if the internal resistance is increased there is also an impact on current and as well the brightness so if the internal resistance of the cell increases as well we have a drop in current and of course a drop in uh, the reading in the voltmeter like that and of course the brightness of the bulb so uh, if you want to change the circuit uh, simple circuit you want, you want to use different uh, different uh, uh, instruments and of course they are simple so you can also click the down a uh, drop down menu or up up uh, uh, arrow to see them they'll be there so you can change uh, any of them if so wish uh, if you also want to add more cells you can click in this and cut so then you have a space uh, to add another cell so you can bring another cell in series to this and add it like that and it should be really it actually should be connected well so like that and it is now done and as you can see the brightness has increased and even the current has really gone up high and even the voltage has gone up high if you yet want to add another you can add just using the same same uh, procedure then uh, you can also add more uh, bulbs so you can click at a given point cut and add more bulbs so if you want to have bulbs in series as well you can do that just cut at one end then you have another another bulb then 
use a wire now to connect uh, the two bulbs in, in series like that and they will be lighting as you can see there will be uh, lighting of course and they are connected in series so, so you can also have arrangement in parallel if you so wish whichever that you wish. so that's how you can construct a circuit a uh, very simple circuit using the virtual lab uh, from the fed colorado uh, site so there are many uh, more, more products from that so you can click on the link look at all other subjects uh, chemistry is there biology is there you can just look at them and also cut out simple experiments using uh, this given virtual lab thank you guys let's me next don't forget to click subscribe and of course like the video